Welcome to the e-commerce application with React Redux Toolkit, uh, Tailwind CSS and Firebase. We are going to learn how to make this e-commerce application. Uh, a quick disclaimer is that watching videos is, is actually a bad way to learn coding. And the only thing that you should be doing is to follow this guide and start coding. You have to write every single line of code. If you're not writing code, then you're not going to learn it. And the reason behind that is that you will face a lot of edge case issues, a lot of debugging problems that you have to solve. You can take the help of AI, but even then, I would suggest that you understand those problems and understand how to debug. So debugging is 100% the answer of learning. So you learn how to debug, learn how to solve errors, and you will be amazing at coding in no time. Okay. Secondly, you can use tools like Claude, you can use ChatGPT, you can use V0, you can use Cursor, you can use all sorts of tools to understand what is going on. You can also use Gemini, which is amazing. So you can actually feed the whole system into Gemini and then ask questions based on that. That is also another thing. But let's go step by step what is happening over here. Uh, the basic understanding is that, you know, uh, you should be learning everything in coding by building projects so that you lear learn how everything is connected you know you cannot study front end as a whole on the side or you know okay i'm learning express js because express js is nothing without the whole connection right so you have to learn front end back end middleware all those things at the same time so this is one example and uh, we're not going to have uh, detailed project videos uh, that is not the best way to learn from what we have realized after running uh, 30 days coding for a long time. The best way is to actually go through the projects, study the projects and see what is happening and then code and then deploy those projects. So once you start coding, adding new features and deploying the projects, that is when you will learn. So the first step should be that you should have a GitHub account. Obviously you should have uh, a Vercel account. Uh, you should have <clears throat> basic set of VS code, cursor ID, whatever you want. And then you should be ready to write code, you know, so that's the simple step. So we will be going over all the project details here that what you should do. And I want you to take this as a homework that you should be writing code. That is the only time you and you will learn. If I write the code, I mean, I've already written all this code. If I write the code again in front of you and teach you, then you're not going to learn anything. You know, I'm going to be learning twice. So this is what I'm trying to explain here. So again, go through everything. You have the project in front of you and start writing code right so let's go step by step so firstly we get the front end and you know before that we have the architecture over here which is uh we are using firebase auth for the authentication so we want to authenticate the user we have an api which is giving us data so we have a, a data store here which is a fake store we have the front end in which we show the projects and the cart and then we have a server and then we have payments infrastructure over here Firstly, we will be setting up the application. You can use YET, you can use Next.js. That is totally optional. You don't have to follow it 100%. Again, you can use uh, Angular as well. You don't. You are not restricted here. Nobody is restricting or forcing you to use the exact same uh, front-end libraries. Use whatever you want. Maybe you like React. Maybe you like Next.js. Maybe you, I mean, Next.js and React are the same thing. Maybe you like Angular. Maybe you like React Ruby on Rails, whatever it is. You know, go with the flow and see what you like and what you enjoy coding in. Simply npm install whatever you want to install, npm in it for the basic uh, config files, and then make all these components. These are just little components for UI, you know, very basic stuff, nothing too crazy over here. And then we want to install the Redux toolkit. You know, that is what we are going to use for state management. So Redux is a library that is used for state management. There are many other uh, cases over here. And one good thing that you can do is, uh, which I'm going to be explaining in the next uh, section over here. But yeah, this is a introduction that I wanted to give. And yeah, let's go uh, divide this video into uh, three things, which is introduction, front end, back end, and then deployment. So I'll take you to how to use V0 and AI tools. Over. So now let's say you have, you want to do state management. You don't know what is state management. Now you have AI tools, you know, back 10, 15 years back, we did not have these AI tools to help us. But now you have all these AI tools in which you can easily uh, capture these, uh, uh, you know, these problems that you're facing. And then you can ask them to explain. Okay. 
So what you can do is you can go to v0 and then you can say I want uh, to implement state management in my app, in my React app, okay? Explain me this with a visualization. <coughs> so what will happen is uh, it will create a very nice visualization for you uh, and you will see how state management actually works and why are we using state management. Secondly, you should also always go to the docs because the React docs are the holy grail of everything, right? Like nobody can teach you better than the docs, right? We are just here to explain it in a better way but if you see passing props you will see that prop drilling is one thing where you have 10 different components and you're passing the props back to the first one and then you have to pass some data back to the 10th one right so how do you how do you manage that when you have uh, 20 components or 10 different things or different you know states and different screens and cards and uh, you know other things so you, you want some sort of state management right so this is the thing so you have component one with state, component two with state, and component three, and then you have this. What basically happens is we add a state management tool which controls all of this at the same time. So this is what I'm saying, that you should be learning new things with these AI tools, you know, very, very important. So yeah, this is what you need to do next. Just install uh, uh, the, uh, you know, whatever the libraries you have here, so Redux, you can install Tailwind CSS, you can install Stripe, which is for payments. Uh, for fe fetching the data for fake store API is very, very simple. You just call fake store API server, react bd slash products. You will get the products and then you can just use the products in the UI. You can just map it because products in, is an array. You know, if you want to check what is the, what is inside the array, then you should go to this link and see what is inside this array, right? So let's go to this. And you will see that there is a JSON format, which is for the uh, object in which we have ID, title is new, old price, and blah, 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 right? So these are the things. So in this is what you will map in the React uh, front-end code, and then you will see all the projects. For the Redux toolkit, it's again very, very easy. Uh, you just need to initialize some reducers in which you say, okay, add to cart is one reducer, increment to qu increment quantity is one reducer, decrement is one reducer, and it's basically finding it and then reducing the quantity, right? Deleting, it's finding and deleting and whatever. So these are some of the methods that we have over here, right? And then we will be using this in the other thing. So again, if you want to see what, uh, you know, exactly how this is working, then uh, you can say, give me a very simple Redux example. So this will give you a very simple Redux example, right? And then you can also search over here. You can say, let's say if they have use reducer or, uh, you know, something else. So then you can go over this or maybe just go to the React Redux docs. So this is a state management doc. So just go to the get starting and then you'll see how we have a counter application, you know, very, very simple. And this is how you can easily uh, go through this and see how to create the React store, Redux store, right? And once you have that, then you can uh, go forward and use the Firebase config for authentication. Very, very simple. You just add Firebase config, you initialize the app, you make the login page in which you have the Google Auth provider coming from Firebase already and then you just uh, use the functions defined so these functions are already defined inside the firebase uh, so you can just use these uh, log out log in and once it's logged in we do certain things so this is a very simple authentication example and then yeah there's uh, other things over here uh, components that you're building and then you're getting all sorts of different things you're getting a banner you have a card item and you see what's happening over here. So for dispatch, we are using a use dispatch, right? So for example, you get confused. Okay, what is use dispatch? We see it's coming from React Redux, you know? So what we can do is, okay, uh, what is use dispatch in Redux? Please explain, right? And it will explain you uh, in a very quick manner. So this is again, another way to learn, I think, 
in which you are building projects by going through documentation, going through AI tools, deliberately trying to learn with simple examples. And this is where you will get the maximum knowledge. Uh, you know, listening to a random video, I don't think helps that much. Uh, having the curiosity to learn these tools will definitely help you in the long run. Okay, so go through this amazing doc and i think you're gonna have a good project uh in which you learn all these things so yeah go step by step uh there's you know we're adding more information here you know what is redux introduction to redux all the good things and i think it's gonna help you a lot uh but yeah overall uh check it out and let me know how it goes